know, people may have lost their job or had some financial difficulty. And God knows in this state right now, boy, do we have people yeah. dealing with difficulty with that tornado that went through. So, you know, you don't have to look very far to find people who are struggling with things. And his speech resonates with all sorts of people. And I, I love that, too. Well, Jeff is upset. Ryan Howard trying to back Mikasa Robinson down, and, and there's a foul on Robinson. I'm not sure. The and two there was a little shoving going on. There was a, a bit of an shoving. exchange there between Robinson yeah. and Howard involving the basketball. You see, Ryan tried to give it to Mikasa, who tried to give it right back. Well, she's... When you're that far away from the basket and you're outside that um, the three-foot area in, around the lane, you're not considered a post player. So Mikasa Robinson putting her hands on Ryan Howard is a foul. The now, player's under review for possible unobserved foul. If, if that happened in the post, the that would be a, a different way hmm. of calling it. You can right. put the arm bar on, on there. Yeah. yeah. So what he just said was they are looking at the possibility of another foul after the play. Right, and so I believe Eric Bruton and company are going to look at this exchange right here. Well, Ryan Howard handed her the ball, and Mikasa Robinson gave it back to mm -hmm. her. I'd say play on. Yeah. Nothing much there. Yeah. But good to look at it in this environment and this rivalry at this point in the game, just to get the coaches to get their players to refocus on what they're supposed to be doing. We have a local to get back to do my quick commercial. We have a local arm of the V Foundation here called Kentuckiana Friends of V. And we work very closely with the V Foundation. One of the things it lets us do though is it lets us target the money to local research projects. Mm -hmm. Like there's a really good research institution here at the University of Louisville. There's a terrific one at the University of Kentucky called the Markey Center. The one here is called the Brown Center. And so we earmark research projects at both of those so that people who give the money here can see some of that money stay right in the community here. And I think that's important to people. Because I'll tell you, I mean, I don't know, I'm a little older than you guys, unfortunately, but when I was a kid, you heard somebody had cancer. It was kind of like... Yes. Mm. You know, you were waiting to find out when they were going to die. I hate to say it, but that, now it's not like that at all. You look at people who are thriving and recovering and in remission, and it's a, it's a really wonderful thing. This, yeah. the researchers are making a huge difference. 17 million cancer survivors in the U.S., and that number is expected right, after review, to go we up. We have a technical foul on red five for taunting after the foul is called. We will now go into immediate timeout. So a technical foul called on Louisville. Back in a moment. <laughs> nope. It in was total not. agreement. Uh, in a rivalry game, take the two aside and say, chill out. Right? I mean, there was no... Yeah, no. And actually, Ryan Howard initiated Yes. It. She handed the ball to Mikasa after that foul. So... If anything, it should have been, if you're going to call one tech, it should have been two, or you should have just left it alone, should which is just, exactly yeah. what I would have done if I had the stripes on. Looked to be just a uh, you did it, no you did it type of situation that could have gone a lot more uneventful than that. At any guy, case, 25 to 19, Louisville. It's about a nine second differential on the clock. Edwards blocked by Cochran. This is a good take right here. Look at the recovery, though, by Cochran to be able to make that defensive play and allow her team to set their D. That, that's going to be a technical foul, I believe, on Olivia Cochran for taunting. She gave a little stare down to Drayon Edwards. Okay, this is what I'm talking about, focus right here, Beth. I don't think she said anything. I think she gave her the stare down because I was watching it. Wow. Uh, I mean, that's that, a, that's a couple of whistles that it's an uh, emphasis, we, right? we disagree with. Right? right, it's an emphasis, but really there's nothing there. No. Howard gets one of the two for the one-point lead. The 
the ball here. You can't let it get beat over the top. Howard looking for three. She no got good. Fouled. She got bumped. Scrap for the loose ball. Held, and it will go to Louisville. She got bumped from behind shooting a three. You got to protect the shooter. Angsler hits her from behind. And Kyra Elsie is really working the officials, and she is going to get a technical foul. Technical foul called on Elsie, 63-58 with six seconds to go. I thought she got bumped from behind by Engsler, mm -hmm. and so did Kyra Elsie, who could clearly see through that play. And so she's obviously upset. Now that's, there's never a good time to get a technical, but certainly now isn't the time. She must have said something more than that was a foul because otherwise most officials at that point in the game would say, okay, that's enough. Yeah. You know. And it will be Paul at the line. Fourteen of fifteen on the season for Chelsea. Trying to feed off of that huge win for the volleyball team here at Louisville yesterday. They're undefeated going into the national semifinals. And they're trying to secure a rivalry win over Kentucky here. Six point game, six seconds to play. 